Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. Half to Glory Team 2 is here and I've just checked out the big man Ben Chilwell. He is absolutely mental guys. So if you've not seen that review, go and check it out after this one. But in this video, we're going to be checking out the right back. The Argentinian man hopefully is going to get himself a guaranteed upgrade is the PSG boy, Paredes. What do you guys think of this festival of football team? We got Pogba, Bobby Firmino, Jao Felix. That Hernandez objective looks crazy. Grealish has himself an SBC, which I kind of tempted to do, but in all honesty, it doesn't look that good compared to his team of the season honorable mentions or whatever it was a while back. Uh, the card doesn't really stand out to me, but the man we're checking out in today's video is Mr. Leandro Paredes. He's 5 foot 11, medium, medium, right footed with four star, four star, and he is a right back. That is important to note, guys. He starts off as a right back, but he plays a Paris Saint-Germain. He's Argentinian, so you have some insane linkability factors. For example, Mbappe, Tevez, Icons. There's many French League players and many sick Argentinian cards at the moment. So he cost me 100k to buy, and he's probably worth about that still. I would say 90 to 105k is roughly how much you have to spend to get this card in your team. And take in mind, Argentina are in the Copa America, I believe it is. Uh, and they're one of the favourites, so they probably should go far in the tournament. So expect an upgrade on this card, and of course, if they do get an upgrade, he goes up by two overall ratings. Checking out the attributes, we have given him an anchor chem style, so the pace gets that nice little boost. Going forward, this guy is crazy. The shot power and the long shots are sensational. The tap positioning is great, but the finishing is a little bit on the low side. The passing stats are fantastic for a right back. I'm gonna be rocking him as a left center mid in a midfield three in today's video. So we will truly test out that passing stats, test out the passing range, Ping some long shots to see how this guy feels on the ball. Dribbling wise, agility and balance are a little bit on the low side. So I'm hoping he doesn't feel too clunky in game, but the ball control, the dribbling and the reactions aren't too shabby. Defensively, he is insanely solid. With the anchor chem, we go up to 99 stand tackle, 99 slide tackle, uh, 97 defensive awareness and 93 interceptions. So super, super solid defensively. Stamina is only 88. I'm hoping that is not going to affect the card too much if you want to play him as a center mid. The strength goes up to a 98 and 99 aggression. This guy is an absolute pit bull. I remember watching him a few times in the Champions League last season and he is aggressive, which is what I like to see from my centre midfielders. Player traits, we've got the power free kick, flair, outside the foot shot, and then a couple of CPU AI traits. So really nice uh, traits for this card. Hopefully they match nicely with the attributes. So overall, the card looks solid. For the price, I've got a high hope. As I said, I'm playing him as a left centre mid in today's video. I'll show the custom tactics in a second, but the team is going to be exactly the same as the Ben Chilwell player view I did a minute ago. We've got Mbappe, Big Man Greasy up top, Tevez, uh, Zanetti, Ruben Diaz, and Edwin van der Sar come in across the back four. Uh, N'Golo Kante, Kaka, and then big man Paddy V. Custom tactics, we're rocking the press after possession, last five width and seven depth. The formation, as I said, Paredes is going to be that left centre midfielder. He's somewhat the more attackive out of the three, Kante and Kaka. Kaka is going to be more balanced, Kante is going to sit deep, and then Paredes is hopefully going to bomb forward and get a couple of goals for us. The back four stays the same, and then we've got Tevez in the pocket. Killian and Antoine Griezmann at top. That, by the way, though, that strike force is mental, by the way. So same as the chill world player view, I'm going to hop into some Div 1 gameplay. We're sat at 2250 skill total. I'm going to truly test out Paredes. See if he can hang defensively. See if he can ping a couple of long shots. I mean, he should be able to. 99 shot power, 94 long shots. I've got high hopes for the card. I'm going to compile all the clips into a montage for you lads. And we'll catch up afterwards. We collide. We break down. Caving in to our doubts Faces filled with sadness When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fight that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go
can see the fire that we made just to save us when we try to make up for never letting go said the things we promised not to say that we break up just to start all over even though we know So then Paredes as a left centre midfielder, he was pretty solid to be fair, he's a bit clunky, his body type doesn't really fit the meta, you'll notice it a couple of times but the skill cancels are great, there were a few times he was able to dribble past my opponent quite nicely but you will notice the dribbling letting him down, especially that agility and balance, uh, especially in the little tight situations, he can get bullied a little bit. But defensively, really, really solid. Some crunch tackles were made. The strength and aggression definitely helped this card. I did notice the stamina being a little bit on the low side, which is a bit disappointing, especially with how fast the game is at the moment. Everybody's playing press, so you need their midfielders to be up and down the whole damn game. Long shots, I tried a fair few, and a lot of them didn't come off. They were decent efforts. Maybe it was me trying them at a bit audacious angles, but I was set to a couple of the Nestle top bins. Obviously, most of them were finesse shots. He doesn't have a finesse shot trait, but the power free kick, we didn't get the try out, unfortunately. But he did score a couple of nice goals for us, which is good. One from the penalty spot, and then one he kind of drove into the box and smashed it with his left foot. I'm expecting Argentina to go forward in the tournament, so this man should get himself a little upgrade. If he does, it'll be interesting to see where they kind of boost the stats. Hopefully the dribbling stats go up a little bit, make him a bit more liquid on the ball, which would be nice. Defensively, really solid. Maybe as a right back, he might be a decent shout. I just feel his body type, and his agility and balance, you're going to get turned a little bit too easy, guys. So if you're going to get this card, I would either play him as a centre-back. Yep, a centre-back or a CDM or centre-mid. Nowhere else, I would not play him as a right-back, which is a bit weird. I don't know why EA are doing this. They dropped Marcos Lorente as a right-back. They dropped Paredes as a right-back. I don't know if, in all honesty, I've not watched much of Argentina or Spain, so they could be playing in that position. But I feel like they're better suited in their natural position, which is in the centre midfield. Would I say he's worth 100k? It's tough because a lot of cards are better than this guy and cheaper, but you do get some really nice links. For example, the PSG, the Argentina, you get a hyperlink to Di Maria if you've got him kicking about in your club. Um, yeah, he's a solid card, but the, the fact is, you start him as a right back, you probably have to play him centre mid. So you have to try and figure out a way to get him into your team and for all that to work out. But if you are playing him as a right back and he does a solid job for you, let me know down below in the comment section. But that is going to be the end of this play of you guys. If you're new around here, please do consider dropping me a subscription. I'm pushing slowly and steadily to 2,000. That is the next big, big goal. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this card and the rest of the Path to Glory Team 2. Have a good weekend, enjoy the Euros, and I'll catch you soon for another one, guys. Take it easy.